ஹாய் ஐம் டாக்டர் ஸ்வேதா ராம்பல்லி கன்சல்டன்ட் பிடியாட்டிக் நியூரோலஜிஸ்ட் கிம்ஸ் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல்ஸ் கர்னூர் ஸோ டுடே லெட் இஸ் டாக் அபவுட் சைல்ட்ஹுட் எபிலப்சி அண்ட் இட்ஸ் டிஸ்டிங்விஷிங் ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் ஸோ டு பிகின் வித் சீஜர் ஈஸ் லைக் இன் எபிசோட் விச் வி காமன்லி சே இட் ஹஸ் ஃபிட்ஸ் அண்ட் சீஜர் அக்கர்ஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் அண்ட் அப் நார்மல் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் ஆக்டிவிட்டி இன் த பிரெயின் If these seizures occur repeatedly, then we say it as epilepsy, a chronic neurological condition. So, epilepsy can begin at any point of your life, at any age. But in children less than 2 years of age, it is more prone for the children to develop epilepsy. This is mainly because of the immaturity of the brain and its connections. Uh, but however uh, one good thing about this immature brain is they respond very well to medications so secondly uh, we say like uh, whenever we imagine a seizure or a fits uh, we think about like uh, a child falling to the ground uh, shaking his or her own body vigorously or uh, biting his or her own tongue so this kind of dramatic scenes uh, uh, contribute to only minority of the seizures majority of the seizures occur in very subtle formats like uh, subtle eye deviation subtle mouth deviation for a brief time or a staring spell like a behavior arrest the problem with this kind of minority uh, this subtle amount of seizures is like uh, we can miss them uh, the problem of getting confused with other things is high with this kind of subtle seizures like we may get confused with fainting spells breath holding spells uh, or a simple daydreaming or else migraine etc next point about childhood epilepsy is like uh, most commonly in children whoever falls sick with the illness and with fever they tend to develop seizures and they are called as febrile seizures it is very common almost like 1 in 25 children uh, experience febrile seizure in their life span and between their 6 months to 6 years of life and they are mostly said to be benign that means they do not convert to epilepsy later in future in most of the children but in children with febrile seizures if they have history of uh, febrile seizures in family members or if they have impairment in development like uh, um, uh, delayed attainment of ability to walk delayed attainment of ability to talk etc and if the febrile seizure is more prolonged like 15 minutes to half an hour or if a febrile seizure involves only one part of the body like shaking or convulsion involving either right side of the body or left side of the body and face etc then these kind of seizures they are more prone to develop epilepsy later in the future so we have to be careful with this kind of febrile seizures so next is uh, in uh, these kind of children these children with epilepsy they are like their intelligence and their abilities they are almost similar to most of the other children they are within the same range but in some children they experience problems like uh, coexisting autistic spectrum disorder attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, school performance uh, decreased school performance uh, because of excessive uh, daytime drowsiness learning impairments etc so these kind of children they require a detailed neuropsychological assessment uh, for further management and next is sports and exercise so we sports and exercise are very much recommended in these kind of children because it is reported that sports or exercise or any form of physical activity will have positive effect on controlling seizures they do not trigger seizures so having said that uh, we should be very careful 
one should be very careful uh, especially when the child is uh, doing uh, water activities or playing water sports or doing activities from certain heights uh, he or she should be supervised uh, well with uh, great precautions so regarding any kind of information on childhood epilepsies parents can seek information from either a pediatrician or a pediatric neurologist the one who is specially trained in childhood epilepsies thank you